part of the reason the Middle East conflict hasn't been solved for a very long time now is because people are not focusing on the fundamentals. There needs to be a serious change of approach because the current tactics is not working. Whether you like it or not, using violence never works. It has never worked, even in this particular conflict, going back years, 70, 75 years ago. It has never worked and it will not work in the near future. I'm focusing on the fundamentals. It's not just for one side alone because both sides have some elements of extremism, although one is very, very extreme. Yes, that's what Wafa Sultan, an Arab-American and a psychiatrist, explains in this Al Jazeera interview. Credit to them and to memory for the translation. Let's take a listen. Ya akhi, amin bil hajar, walakin iyaka an tadrubani biha. Anta hurrun fi an ta'bad man tasha. Walakin la alaqa laka bi aqaid al akhirin. Siwa amanu bi an al Masiha huwa Allah ibn Maryam, aw an al Shaytan huwa Allah ibn Maryam. اترك الناس في عقائدهم اليهود خرجوا من مأساة فرضوا احترامهم على العالم بعلمهم لا بإرهابهم بعملهم لا بزعيقهم البشرية مدينة بمعصم اكتشافات وعلوم القرن التاسع عشر والقرن العشرين لعلماء اليهود خمسة عشر مليون مشرد في العالم جمعوا شملهم ووصلوا إلى حقوقهم بالعمل والعلم لم نرى يهوديا واحدا يفجر نفسه داخل مطعم ألماني لم نرى يهوديا واحد يهدم كنيسة لم نرى يهوديا واحد يحتج على ذلك بقتل الناس حول المسلمين ثلاثة تماثيل للإله بوزة إلى حطام لم نرى بوزيا واحدا يحرق مسجدا او يقتل مسلما او يحرق كنيس او يحرق سفارة ولكن وحدهم المسلمون يدافعون عن معتقداتهم بحرق الكنائس وقتل الناس وهدم السفارات هذه طريقه لن تؤدي بهم الى نتيجه على المسلمين ان يسالوا انفسهم ماذا يستطيعون ان يقدموا للبشريه Yes, this is common sense, but like the saying goes, common sense is not common. Many people are not focusing on the real issues and the fundamental issue. Maybe the world will learn things can change because the old tactics is not working. And you know, conflicts can be profitable to some people. Yes, the operators of a conflict or the people who provoke a conflict, they can actually benefit from it. And if they benefit from it, they wouldn't allow it to end, whether it continues continuously or start and stop, start and stop at a given moment. So let the world learn, let them focus on the fundamental issue and maybe, just maybe, we might have peace in the Middle East. Another thing that everyone should know about is this animation that shows where early humans, the Homo sapiens, started off in the world. That's the eastern part of Africa. Early humans migrated from this region of Africa to other parts of the world. What does it mean? It means that no matter where you find yourself today, you are an immigrant, you migrated to that place, even if it's not you, your great ancestors or your great 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 grand ancestors migrated there. Even people that are living in that part of Eastern Africa, they came into existence in that place because the earth is older than humans. Most lands that countries occupy today were mostly gotten through military conquest. So the moral of the story is that humans can actually live in peace together. When they go, the land remains. Thanks for watching.